hello welcome to today's video uh, what we are going to do today is like we are going to add up some more sensors and actuators and see how do you program your microcontroller this is something very similar to Arduino let's see how it works I've made the setup already uh, ready on the screen so that to save time but anyways I'll show you where from we got these components okay so the one which is on the left hand side or the sensors which has switch uh, toggle push button potentiometer and this is the flex sensor okay and now on the right hand side we have four actuators this is lamp LED siren and your motor so the how the connection is made is so what happens is like um, so we are if you hover this over it you can see what are all the pin numbers to which it is connected so d naught of Arduino is connected to the d naught of this likewise if you go here so it, this is d1 pin okay and now these are these two are digital this is analog so you can see a naught a naught this is connected to a naught and uh, you could guess now it will be a1 so this is a1 and now on this side we are going these are inputs okay input to the microcontroller and now these are outputs so these sensors will sense something depending on that we write a code so that you actuate accordingly the components which you require so again let's see which pins are they connected so this is d2 obviously this will be d3 d4 and this is d5 okay so this is the basic setup and now let's see how to uh, go about with the programming so this is the uh, you have to double click on the microcontroller and this will show you the programming stuff so this is main.py uh, which is the program so now you can see these uh, coding which is given here so if you look at there are two uh, import statements so uh, there is a time import and gpio import time import is uh, something which helps you when you use these delay it is dependent on this um, uh, gpio uh, package I'm, I'm sorry time package and then when you use these pin modes okay so d these are dependent on gpio package so you have to um, just say uh, import it is already present by default you just have to say I want to use it in the program by using import statement and now these are the variables which we have and assigned it to zero and we wanted to have it global variable so we have declared it global so this stores the switch value which is sensed this is for push button value potentiometer value and flex sensor value obviously these are inputs so now what you do is the logic is you have to read from the sensors and then write to actuators so that is the concept so when I say read from the sensors so these are again global variables so how do you do if it is digital then you'll use digital read if it is analog then you'll use analog read common sense right so now digital read um, you'll uh, have the pins I think you remember what I showed you so digital read of zero is your switch okay so I'm assigning um, so whatever is read is assigned to this variable with the help of the microcontroller and then on one you will measure what uh, the push button state is whether it is on or off and then analog read potentiometer value and then you have this a naught being measured and for flex it is a1 so now on on these values what are you going to do so now we'll have uh, as you would have expected four switch cases or if else statement so one is uh, on this on the switch basic switch and then the push button and then the potentiometer and the flex and now if you look at here switch value when it is high so now if you look at here this is something very different so there is custom write digital write and analog write okay so uh, custom write is actually a variable of digital write um, so what does that mean is digital write can have only two values high or low but then custom write if, it, if you wanted to have anything more than your high and low then you go for this custom write so now uh, if you go back to the components and then double click you'll get an idea so now if you go here and then double click on this so this will give you the 
specifications of this component okay i'm sorry when you click on that so now it is a push button i'm sorry the button switch turn on and off the states are on and off and then if you look at this so it gives some details about the uh, component okay this uh, the specifications are given here so now similarly uh, what you can check is this is for a normal uh, switch so now let's see for this uh, component so a single click is enough now if you go to lamp so it says how to interact so whenever you wanted to interact uh, hold the alt button and then uh, click so then uh, then the um, uh, interaction with the switch or whatever component will happen so now if you look at this you can see this word custom right right so what does that mean is you will have more than one state um, more than two states when compared to your digital so either it will be zero off or on but here there is something called as dim so you have zero one two to represent so if you want to switch on you have to use two you have to uh, use zero if it is switch off and one for dimming so now if to understand every component you just have to click on that to understand uh, um, what is the specification and then you program accordingly okay so so now going back to the coding so in this in this what we have done is coming back to this so now i'm saying switch value when it is high i'm asking it to turn on the light so now the pin was if you remember it was a digital pin d2 okay because it was actuator so we used d0 d1 as inputs and then a0 a1 so after d0 d1 d2 was uh, was meant for the first output of the lamp and then you have this um, uh, if it is else then you put zero so which means switch off and now come to the second actuator which is toggle push, push button if it is high then i wanted to write high on pin number three which is connected to the led so accordingly else it will be low and then the potentiometer is a analog value so what we are going to do is so the value is from 0 to 1023 so anything greater than half of it 512 roughly okay so now if it is greater than 512 then i am saying please switch on your siren so which is nothing but your buzzer kind of else low and then again the flex sensor is analog if it is greater than zero then i am saying please do analog because this is analog value i am just saying use analog right because the values which you have taken here the flex sensor values are analog so i am saying please vary the uh, motor speed okay according to the bending the flex sensor is something which bends so depending on how much ever you bend the resistance gets reduced more you bend resistance gets reduced so obviously uh, the motor will run faster so that's the logic so i'm just making a proportion of depending on the bend you have your motor speed working so it will be continuously sending values so that the speed of the motor gets adjusted else if it is zero then i'm saying turn off the motor and now this is your basic main function so this is to configure the uh, pins okay zero and one if you remember those were sensors so input and the remaining two three four are all output and the pin mode five is not configured because whenever you use analog right there is no need to configure your pin mode so that's why we have left it it's not needed and then in while true you have to continuously run these read from sensors write to actuators and the delay now let's see uh, i'm just going to stop and then run the program again so it has started running let's see how it's working so now what am i going to do is let me do one by one i'm going to have alt okay i'm pressing alt and then i'm going to click on that so if you can see that that uh, light is getting on and now again i'll hold alt and then click on it so it will become off now you can see this green thing coming here which indicates on or off so this is working and then this button let's see if it's working so it gets on and now if i click again it gets off on off okay okay uh, <clears throat> let's work out with the potentiometer i'm pressing alt and then i'm clicking on the mouse and then if it goes greater then siren is on the red indication and if i move less then it will become white siren off on off okay on and off okay 
and this is the flex sensor so let me show you how alt and then I'm going to alt and then I'm going to bend this see the motor slower and then the more I bend it goes faster okay so slow because I'm reducing so the resistance gets increased and at zero it is completely stopped so now I wanted to show you how I got these components from right so let's do this and what I'm also going to do is um, after showing this there will be a next video where I'll show you how to create your own project now I showed you a program which was already existing uh, so what you can do is uh, we can create our own project and see uh, how to write our own Python code okay? so that we can try and now components so please go here uh, it will be showing components here so click on that so this will be basic boards uh, the actuators and the sensors so now on the boards is what I wanted and this is the MCU board okay so board which we have here all right and then we'll go for these sensors so let's search for these sensors here uh, so let's search for similar component okay so this is what I got it so this is the switch and then the toggle button there are two types of one is push button this is toggle push button so grab them here and then a potentiometer and the flex let's see where is the potentiometer it's here all right and then the flex okay so this is how we had the sensors let's go for actuators so look for similar components so the first one uh, first one I think it's not here so LED is here so I'm grabbing LED motor okay. and the siren and the lamp is missing let's see what to do so here you go to the end devices and go for home okay and this you will find let's see oh uh, here so you have this lamp and then let's look for siren mm -hmm. okay it's here so this is siren right so now how do you connect uh, every time i would do devices when you work with packets uh, tra um, packet tracer so you just have to use this IoT custom cable. I've already uh, told you in previous videos. I'm just repeating it. So just click on this and let's see how to do. Click on this and there's only one uh, pin there, D0, connected to D0. Okay. And similarly, this is the second component. Click here and here it has D0 and connect it to the next pin, D1. Now what are the other components we have? So this and this is analog so click on that so you'll see a naught drag the line okay so mm -hmm. it's here okay so this is a naught similarly do this for flex connect it here a naught grab A1, right? And then how do you do this side? So you have your lamp, click here, and there's only one thing D0. And now D0 D1 is already exhausted, so now this is D2, and then your siren, go here, click on this D0, take it to the top. And here you have D3. Similarly, you have to do the remaining components. Okay. So I think in the previous thing, uh, LED was second. So how do you uh, erase it? Click here and remove this. Go here. Click on the LED D0. Take the wire here. And this, you use it for D3. Similarly, this D0. Uh, this you connect it to d4 and then the next component use this wire connect it to a naught and then connect it to the board
port d5 so this is how you do your component connection and in the next video i'll teach you about how to do programming thank you